Welcome to the first day of seven days of Congress. This is the look I created. It is a showmanship look that could really go any direction. You could definitely change up the lip to accommodate your outfit if you want to just tone it down a little bit, if you want to amp it up, depending. I mean, the outfit I have on is just black, so it really goes with anything. That's a great thing about black. It's really just a dark brown smoky eye, and I used, I literally have no idea where I put the palette, and I just finished filming. You guys can only see behind the scenes. It's a disaster, but anyways, it's one of the new Smashbox palettes, and you can really create a lot of different looks with it this is the one I've been doing like constantly non-stop so this is what I did for the first day of our seven days of Congress I think it's perfect for the showmanship I did a really defined face look and if you guys want to see how to do this base it's long-lasting it's full coverage head over to the video I'm gonna link off which will be this corner maybe this corner you'll see it when I link it off right now but that's the base I'm gonna use for all of the seven days of Congress and yeah, I guess that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you're really excited about 7 Days of Congress. And if there's any other looks you guys would like to see in the future, as always, please leave them down in the description. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram and my Facebook just to make sure you're there if I put any updates. I post a lot more on there than I do here. So, yeah, they're just at Horseshoe Beauty for both of them. But... So I just want to start off by saying I am always going to start these videos with my eyebrows and my base and everything on. Today I'm going to film how to do a perfect base so that will be like a prequel to this whole 7 days of congress thing. Um, but I will always have my eyebrows on and then I will have primed already. I'm going to try to use the Urban Decay um, primer potion in the shade Eden every single time. Otherwise I will just use the original one. It just kind of depends on what look I'm doing. But So I have my brows on, I have my primer on, and I have set that with a translucent powder. For this look, I'm going to be using the Smashbox palette in the color Ablaze. First, I'm taking this orange shade on a fluffy uh, blending brush. This is one from Morphe. I am going to leave the names of the brushes I use in the description. And now I'm taking a translucent powder and carving out like the outer wing kind of area just because I want it to be a clean line, but I don't want it super crisp. So this makes a little bit of a softer effect as opposed to using tape. So I'm blending that into the crease and then I'm taking a smaller blending brush also from Morphe and the cranberry shade and just building up this color in the crease very slowly. Next I'm going to take the Laura Mercier, it's a cream shadow stick, I think is what they're called, in the color Amethyst. I use a dark base with this dark brown color because if you don't, the color will fade throughout the day. So that's what I do. So I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette and I'm using a Sigma E25 and packing this on the lid. As you can see, I keep it very low below the crease and I very slowly build it up into the crease. You don't want to go in heavy in the crease and then have to blend it out because that's when you get like really heavy dark smoky eyes that just look like you got punched in the eye. So I'm doing that and then I first start off by blending out the edge with that cranberry shade and then I took just a little bit of the dark color on the small blending brush and I'm building that up in the crease very slowly. Then I just take a little bit of the skin tone color in the palette and soften up the edges by my brow bone and then just keep adding a little color, blending it, adding, blending this whole time. Then I'm sweeping away the extra powder, adding a little concealer and blending that out. I also set it with a powder and go in with that nude shade from the palette on my lower lash line just to set it even more. <laughs> then I'm taking just a little bit of that dark color and blending that on the lower lash line. And then I blend that out with, it. I end up using the Morphe M506, I think it is, the little black brush because this one was too big. So now I'm taking the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie palette. I'm taking, I think it's the color Noli on a wet brush and putting this on the inner corner. Then I just use my finger. And then when I take whatever highlight I'm using on my face that day as my brow bone highlight, this just happened to be Champagne Pop. Now I'm curling my lashes and adding some uh, Marc Jacobs highliner. It's just a black color in my upper lash line and then the sunset color on my lower lash line. Then I'm adding mascara and the pair of 614 from Salon Perfect as my lashes. So I now have my face makeup on, which I did record as the base that I'm going to work with throughout all these videos. I did put my blush on, and today I used the Taj Mahal from NARS. Looks really orange in the, pan, in the pan, but it just gives you that really warm kind of like look to your face with a little bit of a glow. 
Now for lips with this eye, I've I've worn this look a ton of times. It's one of my favorite looks to do, but you could go pretty much any direction. Um, I've worn nudes with this. I love the dose of colored butterscotch for a really pale nude. Um, I've worn, what was that one? The dose of colors, coral crush, which, coral crush, which is a really bright corally pink. And then today I'm gonna do more of a dark red. I'm gonna use brick from dose of colors and I'm gonna put it with the Bite Beauty number 42 lip liner. Alright everyone, this is the finished look for our first day of 7 Days of Congress. This is for the showmanship and I think it looks really good just for pretty much any look. You can switch out the lip to help kind of uh, complement your outfit. So if you have like a more bright red, you might want to do more of a orange based lipstick. This one is more of a blue based. It has, well it's kind of like almost a neutral. It's exactly what it's called. It looks like a brick color. But if you want to be really fun, you could do more of a pink red. I still want to go full on hot pink for showmanship. You want to be like a little bit conservative. But I think the smoky eye is perfect. And then you can just pair it with whatever lip. If you want to tone it down, definitely just do a nude lip. And it would look great with that as well. But I hope you guys like this and stay tuned. Day two will be coming up next. Day two. I need to know what day two is. <laughs> day two is going to be Hunter Under Saddle, so that will be up tomorrow. If you guys are excited about seven days of Congress, give this video a thumbs up. Tell me what you think down below, and tell me how you're doing at the Congress if you're there, and if you use any of these looks. If you do, be sure to tag me on Instagram, and I will definitely repost them. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.